Hello there, this is Haku the Bean, and I am here with r slash Tumblr again because I cannot stop tumbling. It is a crippling addiction now. The thing it's crippling is probably this channel or in the near future because I cannot stop. But it's fine, I don't need to. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, or comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And let's get right into this. Guide for teens. Tell the cops nothing. If you're getting arrested by the cops, immediately demand a lawyer. Don't tell them anything. No, getting a lawyer does not make you more guilty. It makes the fact that they're telling you to, that it does makes them um, guilty of of trying to get in the way of true justice. Tell the paramedics everything. Doctors are bound by HIPAA to keep all, all information with patients, including stuff like whether or not you're doing drugs or, or a psychotic break, completely a, a private. You can tell them anything. Your eyebrows are fine. They're on fleek today. Don't worry about it. Character concept. Two people who have been reincarnated for thousands of years and have always found each other, but instead of being in love, they just freaking hate each other. That's literally the, the entirety of The Legend of Zelda. Just Link and Ganon, Link and Vati, Link and Demise. I mean, Demise is kind of the original story for all of it, but still. No matter what game, at the end of most of them, except for, I guess, um, Majora's Mask, Link will find the, the embodiment of, uh, of Demise's hatred. Whether that's Ganondorf, whether that's Vati, whether that's just Ganon, the pig lord. That's why I call him, um, well, that's why I want to call him, because why not? What are that freaking what's his face from that from Spirit Tracks? Link will find and the dude again. I don't know how my parents can live the way they do. How are you a nine inch nails fan, but also have a phobic? This freaking, uh, uh, the song lyrics are going to be great. I'm trying to fit it all inside. I'm trying to open my mouth wide. I'm trying not to choke inside. I'm a good boy, and I will swallow it all, swallow it all, swallow it all, swallow it all. Is it clear now that I have not actually listened to Nine Inch Nails? Although, I probably should. This is super er, er, er gay, and I love it. What did you think this song was about? <laughs> Telling the kids that there's an Among Us movie and they get excited and you set them, them down and put on the thing. I mean, in a terrifying way, it's pretty accurate. Hang on, I can't fucking read. I know unicorns are usually silver or lavender with those skinny horse legs, built for running. But I'd like to see more unicorns with natural coloration built like tanks like these beasts. Oh, that would be beautiful. We need like a scale of unicorn. On one hand, you have a mouthy last unicorn who is a peak of elegant otherworldly unicorns with silver and lavender colors. We need the opposite of that. We need a unicorn who looks like the horse version of a trucker. Like this. Oh my goodness, that is perfect. Tell yourself what a level of... of uh, what are you in terms of being elegant and trucker? <sighs> Apparently, Starbucks is now selling olive oil coffee, and it's caused people to craft like crazy. 
which is hilarious is to me because one, I am from a culture famous for its consumption of both coffee and olive oil, and never in my freaking life would I have thought to combine them. And two, they put a laxative in another laxative. What did they think was going to happen? My god, that looks disgusting. Okay, I'm not going to Starbucks now. That's just bad. TBH, HBA? I don't give a frick. Dead. I mean, yes, it's funny, but mostly I'm just struck by how amazing language and its capacity for evolution uh, SSC is. This will be incomprehensible in an English speaker living in any other time. It honestly looks like a whole like a different language. Wow. Sometimes Tumblr or just has to blend. You have to live with that. The fact that Microsoft Word has to be a subscription is upsetting. I already paid for it. Why do I have to pay again? Yes, please be mad about it. Generally, you used to be able to purchase a single disc to install it and use forever after that initial di purchase of one key. It sickens me to see all this stuff of what used to be a one-time purchase be shunted under a subscription now. This! Why is priority going back up? This is why. This is why. People don't mind paying a high price for software if it's it's only the once or every four to five years. But having to pay a high price regularly, especially in cases where you lose access to your own work if you don't, that's why people are pirating software. It's possible to buy a non-subscription version of Word. Microsoft just intentionally makes it very difficult to find and also expensive. However, I know a guy who knows a guy I website at Emma's Office Pro for 50 bucks. If the link start, it's going to a page not found, just search the site. They usually have some form of the site at L available. Or though, about 50 bucks is more our money than a yo ho ho. That money is a great way to make every, make very clear that the Microsoft that we do want one time purchase products, not subscriptions. Library Office will do all the things the average person needs from Microsoft Office. It's basically a handful of shortcuts that your average Gen X doesn't know about, doesn't know anyway, but it's totally free. Although it would be kind to donate to the folks who maintain it to support them and their continued updates. Meanwhile, I'm still using a copy of Office. It's 2003 I have, have on old CDR, or it still works just fine. Can my body stop making noises? I appreciate some freaking silence without my song being loud as frick. This is me when I blow my load and it starts making this squeaking noise. Thank you for your input. The world oh, is full of wonder. Nose! I meant nose! I blow my nose and it makes weird noises! <laughs> Fruity and sniffle. Oh look, my tummy is making noises. Oh no, my tummy is making noises. <sighs> what does it say? I'm fucking sorry, alright? If you get this error, you need to watch my video again because you didn't do everything. Dude, error. Just watch the video again, dude. Found associates and mostly it's tolerate each other. Roy Mustang is not the Eric's brother or his found family father figure. He's not anyone's father figure. He's like the a manager of a mini golf course, which is Ed's summer job and they hate each other.
I think that if squirrels had the capacity to use and understand language, they would constantly be saying and shit like, I'm such a nut pilled stump cell and so on. How do I delete someone else's post? You have to gather seven sacred objects of power and shit. It's a whole quest, sorry. Okay, so why is it that the moment that we eat, that at squirrels also get at the ability to use it, use it and understand it language, they become freaking incels? Like, they go outside, they live in trees, why would they be incels? I mean, I guess we used to go outside at one time and live in trees. They don't have internet! They just have language! Oh boy. This is a long one. You know why it's gonna be long. No, I just wanted to zoom in. What's up, Pacer Test? Oh god. A Pacer Test is a, is a test of gym in class or PE that brings a shiver of despair down the spine of anyone, any unfortunate soul who has gone through it before. And it's usually done at least once a year. So it's set up on one side of the gym, I a nervous lead the pain in line before the opposite wall that will decide their fate. The teacher hits play on the stereo on a cherry. Everyone's voice echoes through the gymnasium. Fuck that woman's it's having. Get in here. She explains the rules as the kids wait anxiously. Get on the other line before it be placed. Simple enough, right? Ready? Begin, she calls, and a gut wrenching and a gut wrenching beep plays after. The kids awkwardly half jog to the other line and wait three or four seconds before the next beep. Each time they run in this. His noise plays, they run back and forth to the lines. Level 1, complete, she says, as the pat at you on the back for what level victory you have achieved. Not bad, the kids think, but then comes level 2, level 3, which each in interval, the time between the beeps shorted, and you're running as fast as you can to the other line. Your foot hits it, you pivot, the beep plays, you're running again, your legs burn, your throat is sore, your heart is on the verge of an attack. No rest, no mercy. The gir a girl is first crawled over the to the instructor and defeated. Seeing what has fallen, and other students begin to follow all sense. At least they're not the first ones out. Clutching their chest, they bail out of, out of the test. One girl's cry. You can't tell if the boy on the gym floor is alive or not. Three kids left for the wife out to then still have made it back. And then the fallen sit there, watching the myths, the legends, the kids who have made it past 100 laps, 120, 150. When they finally erupt, a cheer erupts from the students, their heroes. But the excitement lasts for oh, only lasts for so long as the kids next round of nervous kids line end up come to go in the second wave and prolong their torture. The woman in, in his voice kick, kicks back up. The beeps he plays. The cycle continues. This isn't even an exaggeration. The hell? Oh yeah, this is very real. Honestly, it seems like it should be outlawed based on um, the Bill of Rights Amendment and that outlaws cruel and unusual punishment or torture as we like to call it. Imagine the fellowship all sitting around a campfire halfway up of Ardra is retelling the events of the Hobbit to Barmo and, and Argard. And North Shaman style would give and be going, My dad tells it this way, and Legolas is going, Well, my dad tells it this way, and the Hobbit's all going, But Bilbo tells it this way. And even though Gandalf was freaking dead for Avis, he refused, he refused to weigh in on anything because watching him argue is for fun. And also, he just remember it because it was over 75 years ago. And let's face it, the wisdom of sun off his gourd on Longbottom and leave the whole time. I really, really don't think I could ever get into Lord of the Rings just simply because it's too big. It's, it's just too much work and effort. 
I hope I don't have to fight my evil shadow self of today. Hey. No fucking way. <laughs> A snake walks into the Ua bar and the bartender says, How did you do that? Moth girl silly glances at the firefly girl in class and flashing intensely. Yeah, after accidentally making eye contact. Fun fact! It's male fireflies who produce light. The firefly girl is trans! Gotta set the record straight here. All fireflies produce light. It's simply the male ones you typically see flying around. They're like the most interesting habits of any animal. Them lighting up is to attract at mates. With male all ones flying around and being patterns on few ones so they close to the ground or cling to things and they respond to a male's flashing with their own or if they're interested in going on a bug date. That being said, obviously Firefly Girl is trans. This implies that Firefly Girl is flashing because she's interested in going on a bug date with Moth Girl. Absolutely she is! You could say her, her shy flirtation lights up the room. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful and adorable. Alright, what's your gender? Alien, orb, robot, lightning, fidget cube, rock, Furry, cool hat, or scented candle? No wrong answers. And no more of that binary, um, but I mean, in male and female, OBS that uh, at CISAT people have been pushing on, on everyone for way too long. Make your choice. Me, I am obviously not sure. Uh, lightning orb. That's what I am. Fits my uh, vibe pretty well. So, sometimes someone isn't toxic, they're just abrasive or mutagenic or highly flammable. And you should always check their material safety data a sheet to be sure. Tag yourself. I'm harmful or irritant. Um, let's see. God damn, that is hard to read. I might have to actually, uh, to be able to actually read this. Oh, what just happened? I just want to open the image. No, 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 what just happened? Obviously, I want to open the image in a new tab, but still, what just happened? Screw Zugget Science, what's your NFPA for? Oh my goodness, they did this on purpose. Okay. I'll have to read that one, I'm gonna have to, um. Check my fun lighter. Remember when uh, money actually made you cool in Club Penguin? <sighs> Your posts covered six moods. Angry, horny, spite. Irritated or fretting, profound poetry, somehow you ate everything in the house. 
these are the only emotions I experience. Surprisingly, I have more moods. <laughs> There's also just pure joy, the anxious waiting for something that's coming out in 19 days. Oh wait, by the time this comes out, oh, it'll be three days from now, so... I don't know, um, 16 days? I'll see when it gets um, out. Fresh idiot, kinky. Oh, that's kinky. Not quite the joke, but I'm in this photo and I don't like it. I'm giving out grotesque chicken and to bloggers tonight. Who the frick just gave my blog a rotisserie chicken? <laughs> hey Steph, it's me, Pookie Cho. Remove Tumblr Live this instant. Who the fuck plays my post? I... I... You know what? Tomorrow we're doing RSS Pookie Cho. Frick it, why not? I love Pukacho just that much. Unironically, people need to learn to say they haven't done anything wrong. I just find them annoying. Oh, I already say that. About a lot of people. Including myself. A five-year-old had my phone, and this is what he searched. The weird bees. The werewolf. The deadly rat. I just saw someone say the words, jokingly gaslight. This might be a good... A time to reintroduce the internet to the terms lying, or perhaps pranking, or even just joking on its own. Okay, say with me guys, if you're giving someone wrong information in the hopes that they'll believe, if that's true, then that's lying. If you are giving someone wrong information under such that they'll ultimately realize that it's false and they will find this funny, then that's joking. If you're giving someone wrong information in hopes that they'll believe that it's true and the response will be funny, it, it, then that's a prank. <sighs> if you are giving someone wrong information in the hopes that they will notice the difference between your presentation of reality and their perception of it, and comes out, out their ability to judge what is and is not real, then that's gaslighting. Please. Learn the difference. They are not the same thing. Pingo is so ugly though. You're a broken person for real. Is this OSHA approved? You'll have to find me after hours for an answer. Why are this my new job? Wish me luck. There is concrete under my foreskin. Ow. And who said work time can't be sexy time? Love when you stop a cat from doing something in and instead of understanding that they shouldn't be doing that, they're just like, ah, sorry my good sir, you seem to have interrupted me. No worries, let me just stream past you and get a taste of that pan of hot oil, please. Oh, you plopped me onto the floor. That was all the time, my man. Pardon me while I jump I'm back onto the counter that is covered in jalapenos. 
As someone who owns cats, that's a runaway if you get up, up on her eating from another cat's bowls, but not while they are eating from their own bowl. I'm more inclined to agree with the post that, I'd say, cats understand the concept of sin. Sometimes when I see you coming, they do the naughty thing faster. For example, when and, and trying to steal an object they can't quite reach or trying to eat all of something. They realize you're going to stop them, but their thought process doesn't reach the conclusion of, I shouldn't be doing this. Instead, they're like, I guess there's a time limit trying to test now, but God's my, uh, that's my witness. I'm going to complete it. Honestly, dogs do this too, and uh, so do humans. Alright, let's see if this la if there's just, this last one is going to be funny. Shakespeare walks into a gay bar. Exit, pursued by a bear. <laughs> this is it. This is peak humor. Alright, time to go back to my room. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I think Ink this video was a good one because Shakespeare literally walked into a gay bar and got chased out by a bear. And no, we don't mean a literal bear. By bear, er, er, when it comes in, in this context, that means a hairy a, 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 a man. Basically, I hope you enjoyed this. Tomorrow, I guess I'm doing r slash pook show because I said so today. Because I love the chaotic energy. I love how curse or spook show can be. And I just love pook show. Until then, I'll see. I'll be Egon. Goodbye!